TikTok actually going to get banned? There has been a lot of bullshit and misinformation online about this TikTok ban and if it's actually going to happen and what it's about. So I'm here to clear it up. Here are all the facts. This is the only video you will ever need. So as we all know, back in March, this bill was passed by the House unanimously. However, yesterday, this bill went back to the House because there was modifications to this bill and they need to vote again. And these modifications were one, TikTok will have nine months to sell instead of six months that was proposed in the original bill. And two, if TikTok is getting close to a sale, Biden will give them a 90 day extension. So if we do a little math there, that is an entire year that TikTok will have a chance to sell their platform. Now, the one thing here that is absolutely insane is this. This bill that's being voted on is not just a standalone bill. No. This bill also includes foreign aid for Ukraine and Israel. So all wrapped up in one bill, we have aid for foreign countries and banning of a social media app. And this is strategic, actually. Since foreign aid is such a congressional priority, this makes it 10 times harder for anybody in the House to oppose the bill. So basically, they're like, yeah, of course, we're going to support these foreign countries. And oh, you want to you want to ban the social media app? Sure, just, just throw that in there. Fuck it. Now, from here, since this bill passed the House, it has to go to the Senate, where they will vote on it. And honestly, it's probably going to pass. Then if the bill passes the Senate, it will go to Biden. And Biden already said that he's going to sign it if it does go there. So there's that. Mind you, if all this happens, if Biden signs the bill, we're still good for at least nine months to use the app. But from here, ByteDance, which is TikTok's parent company, will be forced to sell TikTok. Now, here is one of the most important parts that you need to listen to, okay? If and when this bill gets fully passed and makes it through President Biden, TikTok slash ByteDance is not just going to roll over and be like, okay, yep, yeah, we'll sell it. They are 100 million percent bringing this to court and drawing this whole process out for years because they're saying that this violates your First Amendment rights, freedom of speech. And all while these court hearings are happening, it's still likely that the app will still be able to be used by Americans. There is a chance it could go the other way. Nobody knows yet. All in all, if TikTok does end up getting banned, if the bill gets fully passed, it's not going to be gone next week guys personally i do think it's an infringement on our first amendment rights as americans but really what i have to say doesn't matter the united states senate just passed the tiktok ban bill here's everything you need to know stop freaking out so now that this bill is passed through the house and the senate this is now going to president biden's desk where he's going to sign it without hesitation and from the second when biden takes his pen and signs that piece of paper TikTok now has nine months to sell the platform to somebody who is not a foreign adversary. Now, let me tell you how this is all going to play out. When Biden takes his pen and signs that piece of paper, he's virtually going to be simultaneously handed a lawsuit from ByteDance. And ByteDance, TikTok's parent company, is going to sue the absolute hell out of the U.S. government. And from there, ByteDance is going to ask the judge for an injunction. And basically what this means is that everything that is happening with this lawsuit is going to come to a halt. Time just stops. And throughout this time, in the nine months that TikTok is looking for a seller, you will still be able to use the app like any other time. Now, funny enough, we've seen this play out on a much smaller scale in May of last year with the state of Montana. In May of 2023, the state of Montana passed a bill to ban TikTok. This bill was immediately blocked by a federal judge, and this bill is still waiting to go to federal appeals court. Mind you that that bill, the Montana bill, is happening within the U.S. and it's taking this long, let alone a global bill. And the bottom line is this. ByteDance is not going to sell TikTok under any circumstances. And even if there was a hypothetical situation where they did sell, they would sell the platform, but they wouldn't sell the algorithm. So yes, hypothetically, ByteDance could sell TikTok, but this TikTok wouldn't be TikToking. If that makes sense. The new platform would virtually be TikTok from Wish. Now, let me just share this point with you. TikTok has nine months to sell, maybe even 12 in best case scenario. And right now it's April 24th. What happens seven months from now in the month of November? That would be the United States presidential election. Now we have one candidate who's already going to pass this bill and another candidate who wants to use this bill as leverage to make the Chinese behave. And basically Trump is saying here that Biden only wants to ban TikTok so he can make his friends over at Meta a little bit more rich. So with all that said, let me know what you think about this and I'm sure you guys are going to have plenty of conspiracy theories because of the time frame of this bill. This TikTok ban is fucking bullshit and it has nothing to do with data. A lot of my followers have been asking me for my opinion on the TikTok ban and what it means for the future. So here we go. First and foremost, ladies and gentlemen, do you really think that the US government gives a fuck about protecting our data. Seeing as how our data has been mined by Google, Facebook, Apple, Microsoft, and every other company for the past, I don't know, 25 years. And the US government is worried about China gathering this data and using it as intelligence. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't think Xi Jinping is too worried about what Rebecca from Dallas is doing on a Tuesday. Relax, I know I'm generalizing, there's more important people. 
calm down. Another concern that they have is that TikTok can be used to spread misinformation. So with that being said, I just want to know, have these guys ever been on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram? It's no different on any other app. I mean, we must be completely missing something here because back in 2022, TikTok put together a 90-page proposal to get to the U.S. government telling them how they're going to keep Americans' data safe. When it all comes down to it, I know that there's something we are just not being told here, and that's definitely something to do with money or just generalized politician corruption. But the one thing I've learned from my comments and the public sentiment around this ban is that whichever candidate brings TikTok back, these people are going to vote for. And being that Biden signed the bill this morning, I know another guy who's going to use the situation to his advantage. I'm going to do it. I'm going to come. Which will in turn gain him a lot of votes from the younger demographics. But as for me, am I scared? Am I worried that I'm going to have to get a real job? No. TikTok is just one segment of my business, and although I devote the most time to TikTok and building a community on TikTok, I can do the same thing on Instagram or YouTube or whatever other app tries to make its way in. So all in all, of course, I think it's bullshit, but there's nothing I can do. I'm just going to keep pounding away, keep doing what I do on TikTok, and focus a little more on Instagram and YouTube. Not that hard.